Now, by this point, I'm going to trust that most people know what is going on with the whole FTX situation and the massive collapse that has been happening over the last few weeks or so. I'm sure by this point, I don't need to be giving anybody any type of overview in terms of what has been happening with that entire situation. Sam Bankman Fried is the CEO of FTX and he's finding himself in a whole lot of trouble after it's been revealed that he's been doing some pretty shady things with the money that investors has been pushing into his company thinking that it's actually growing. Now it turns out that that is not what has been happening at all. Instead the investors money has been pushed into some pretty sketchy crypto coins that turned out that it lost almost most of the value once they've actually invested in it, meaning that if you the consumer want your money back, number one there's no liquidity for them to pay you back because all the money has been invested and number two because of the poor investments that they have been making with your money, even if they ended up selling all of those coins, you will still not be getting your money back. Now things is a little bit more complicated than what I've explained there, it goes a lot deeper but like I've said by this point I trust that anybody who's been following along with FTX at least somewhat knows what is going on. Now today I want to talk a little bit more about the aftermath of the situation and also the impact that it has been having on crypto as a whole. Now as you can imagine this entire crash has not been great for the crypto market. In fact if you are in that space you might want to consider moving your money out at least temporarily. I do think some of the bigger coins like Bitcoin might be able to survive this but some of the other ones might not be that lucky. Bitcoin in particular was hit pretty hard, it fell to an all time low of $16,500 US and they say since this entire thing happened it fell by almost 10%. Now I'm not too sure about that number in particular but the last time I checked there was a very big hit. As I've said right now it stands at 16,500 which is an all time low for them. Now we've seen these type of dips pretty much throughout the crypto space. Robinhood in particular lost more than 19% of their stock market value and other cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase also fell by more than 10%. Now I think all of those are going to be fine. I think Coinbase overall is going to manage to pull back from this. I don't think that they are involved in these type of sketchy things that FTX is involved in and on top of that a coin like Bitcoin that has kind of stood the test of time that is one of the pioneers within the space I also think over the long run they might be able to pull it back and eventually bolt their way back up again. At this point I think a coin like Bitcoin and even Ethereum is at pretty much at this point too big to fail in my opinion. I could be wrong though we've seen bigger crashes but I think Bitcoin at least is going to be fine. Now the FTX situation in particular does actually get very very sketchy. It's been reported that over 2 billion dollars of investor money has pretty much just gone missing. Now that number seems to be raising by the day when it was originally reported it was about 600 million dollars and then it was 1 billion dollars and now it is 2 billion dollars that has just vanished. Now they say that FTX was hacked and somebody stole the money. It is still very unclear whether that is true or not. Some people seem to think that it is the owners of FTX themselves that has been pulling the money that is busy hacking themselves but obviously at this point there is no concrete evidence to prove that. Now one very interesting development when it comes to the missing money and the hacker that took the money is that right now it is being reported that whoever the FTX hacker is what they've been doing is converting all of the money or the coins that they stole into Ethereum. In fact they have converted so many of these stolen coins into Ethereum that the hacker is now the 35th richest person within that specific field. They have taken almost 500 million dollars of stolen tokens and converted it into Ethereum and then on top of that they've also taken an extra 100 and 86 million worth of other coins which they have then moved over into a secure storage facility that is actually owned by FTX itself. Now when it comes to that part you can make of that what you will. Now when it comes to the CEO or the former CEO Sam Bankman-Fried the world's most generous billionaire. 
There's also been a few developments when it comes to his situation and what he's been trying to do. Believe it or not, he's actually been active on Twitter and he's been kind of going through a few things. He made a few cryptic tweets that people have been trying to decipher and he's also made it very clear in terms of what he plans on doing going forward. Now, as I've said, he's been making a few cryptic tweets and people are trying to figure out what all of it means, but some people are speculating that the reason why he's making all of these cryptic tweets is because he's trying to delete some of his older tweets but he doesn't want the twitter machine to pick up that he's making mass deletions of older tweets so pretty much what he's doing is he makes a bunch of cryptic like one worded tweets and then while he's doing that he's deleting older tweets that might be able to implicate them so what he is allegedly doing is he's going through some of his older tweets and then he picks up where he made a few claims that might not have been legal, a few things that might implicate them and then he deletes it. But while he's deleting it, he's also posting a bunch of new cryptic tweets in order to mask the fact that he's deleting older tweets. That way the Twitter machine is not picking up that he's deleting tweets because usually when there is like a mass deletion of tweets, you can immediately see it when you go into Twitter. It's very very clear when a person is trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So most people are speculating that is what he is trying to do with this mass cryptic tweet spree that he has been on lately. It's pretty much all just a facade in order for him to get rid of some older tweets that might implicate them. Now on top of that he's also laid out a few things that he wants to do going forward. He says that his goal is number one he wants to focus on transparency and number two he wants to make the customer whole. And his plans for doing that he says number one is he's meeting in person with regulators and he's working with them to see how he can actually insist the people who invested with FTX. He says that his main priority is to first assist the customer in getting their money back and after that he will focus more on the investors. He also says that he's aware that he took way too much leverage and he realized now that it is a mistake. He realized also that he was right running into this whole liquidity problem but on top of that he does say that what he is trying to do now is get some more liquidity to make sure that he can actually start paying the customers back. Now I don't know how true all of this is, it sounds kind of like he's just been caught and now he's trying to kind of damage control but I'm sure even he is aware that at this point it is a little bit too late for that but I do hope that he actually manages to pull this off. As much as I think he is full of crap I obviously also want people to be able to get their money back so hopefully among everything that he's saying there is at least a little bit of truth to it even though I'm not extremely hopeful I obviously want the people to get their money back.